today I'm doing my May Beauty Obsessions. I can't believe June is finally here. Oh my goodness. So I have my little basket here full of all of the products that I've been loving for the whole month of May. Let's go ahead and get into it. I have a lot to share with you. Grab a drink, girlfriends. Grab a snack because it's going to be a long video. So I have two hair products that I've been loving for the past, actually, couple of months. This right here is brand new. I just picked this up um, a few weeks ago. And this is the infamous Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. Now, I did want to get the smaller version because this is such a big-ass bottle. I mean, this is a freaking 4.6 full ounces. I absolutely love this. It gets rid of all of the oil oiliness in my scalp because I don't wash my hair every day and I just love it it's awesome it it's definitely worth the hype and I'm I'm just really loving it so I really love it <laughs> totally obsessed with this hair product so the other hair product that I've been loving this came in my petty vor box and this is the love I'm probably saying this wrong evolve luxury natural hair care um, it's the smart start leave-in conditioner and it looks like this. This is actually a 2.5 full ounce bottle and this has lasted me. I mean, look, I still have a ton left and a little bit really does go a long way. If you buy this little bottle, it's only $8. I definitely will repurchase this. So when I get out of the shower, I'll just spritz this all over my hair, run it through. It smells amazing. Oh my God. It smells like super expensive. What I like to do is spray this on my ends too, like when I'm feeling like right now. <laughs> and it just makes them super soft. It smells great. It leaves your hair super smooth. Also, if you have really tangly hair, I have super tangly hair. This gets out knots and tangles. It's also gluten-free, paraben-free, it's vegan. Um, and also, what else? It helps prevent breakage. So I absolutely love this. It's super easy. I think this would be great for all hair types. It's not super like thick or greasy like a cream. So it's a spray. and You can just spray it in your hair. It's so easy. I love this for traveling as well. So oh, I love this hair stuff. It's awesome. All right, and the next product here is the last one that is non-makeup related. This is also from Lush. I am addicted to Lush, you guys. If you have any recommendations, please leave me a comment below because whenever I go to the mall, I always try to stop into Lush. They're so friendly there. I mean, I know they're supposed to be friendly. They want you to buy their products, but they're just so nice there, and they're eager to help you, like, find what you're looking for. And if you have any questions, they're just so nice. It's my favorite store to go in. So I wanted to try this because everyone raised about it. It's the bubblegum lip scrub and they had different flavors there and I knew I would love this. Bubblegum has always been my favorite flavor even when I was a kid. I love taking like medicine that tasted like bubblegum. It's a really nice sort of dry sugar and I just like smell this all day. I was using the one from e.l.f., but I didn't like it because it wasn't really working for me. This works so, so great. I love it. It really, like, it's kind of rough, but it's soft at the same time. And when you, like, really work it in, it gets all of that flaky skin off of your lips. I have a huge, huge problem with flaking on my lips. It's just insane. It's a huge problem for me. Um, so this has been great. I love it. It's affordable and it tastes great. You can lick your lips after you're done using it. Oh my gosh. It's so delicious. This is the brand new Kat Von D shade light eye palette. This is my baby right here. I absolutely love her. It's got warms. It's got cool tones. It's got some nice warm neutrals. It's just all around the best eyeshadow matte palette I own and that I've ever used in my entire life. If you guys want to see some more looks with this palette, definitely let me know because it's just so pretty. All right, so the next eyeshadow palette that I've been loving so much, this is new from Hard Candy. This is the Natural Eyes palette, and I have a review, a rave review coming up really soon, you guys. Probably after this video, I'm going to upload that one. Um, so if you see the eye look that I'm wearing right now, I actually use this palette and I am just 
in love with the quality and it's so cute it's in this like little tin they're only eight bucks and you can find them at walmart so um stay tuned for that because i've got a video coming up really soon on these amazing palettes so to continue with the eyes this is my new favorite mascara this is from lily lolo and this was also another item that was in my petty vore box this is the best all natural vegan mascara i have ever tried now that i've tried like a hundred different ones but so far this is phenomenal it is more on the pricier side it's twenty dollars I swear to you guys I would not recommend this if I didn't think it was great and it's so worth every penny so here's what the brush looks like it is a natural I mean it's got faux hair how do I say that it's not a rubber wand okay but it's really thick it has really thick short bristles and the formula is great it's not too thick it's not too dry it's not too wet it is awesome i cannot say enough good things about this and i'm so glad that it was in one of my pedivore boxes because otherwise i probably wouldn't have tried this so love it love it did i mention that i love it <laughs> all right i have some eye pencils eyeliners um this first one here is from elf it's the new lock on gel liner this is the nude shade. I think it's called In the Nude or something. Now, I have the black one, and for the life of me, I can't sharpen it. Like, it won't sharpen for me. There's something wrong with it. So, I feel like these are kind of a hit or miss, but this I love wearing in my waterline as a nude, you know, like a nude eye brightener. There's just a quick swatch there. It is a little too dark for me, though. It has kind of an yellow, orangish tone, but it does work. It's super long lasting in my waterline. Like seriously, I can put it in and it'll stay in like all day. It's really, really long wearing. So if you can get these to work for you, I think they're a really good value. I think they're like $3 each. I don't like the opposite end, the smudger. I don't ever use it. And if you've seen my unboxing elf haul, one of them wouldn't even come off like it broke. Another new eyeliner pencil that I just picked up the other day and I've been loving. It's from Fergie and these are somewhat new to the Fergie line. It's the On The Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencils. This is in China White. You do have to sharpen these and just like the elf one, it's got like that hard plastic but this one has been okay like I don't really see a problem sharpening it this is a really pretty like frosty white color it's really it's kind of strange <laughs> and it's really pretty in the waterline it almost looks like you have a glow and I don't know I really like it it's really long wearing this is gonna be a long video can you tell can you tell <laughs> grab a snack grab a snack and a drink this is LA colors jumbo eye pencil this is just like the one from NYX um, so either one is fine but this is in seashells and it's a super creamy matte white and what I love about this is that it has a slight tackiness but it's not too thick and it's not too pigmented like you can build it up slowly if you're looking for a really cheap pencil um, this one is amazing. So moving on, the next thing that I've been so in love with and I'm wearing today on my eyes, this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Now I got this in a set with her um, new mascara for 15 bucks. Such a great deal. You see how tiny that is? Do you see how tiny that little point is? That's how you can get that really sharp, crisp edge. I will definitely be purchasing a full size. I can't believe I'm saying that, but... Normally with eyeliners, I'm pretty satisfied with the drugstore, but this is just so amazing, you guys. I just, I just can't, okay? And this stuff is like waterproof, sweatproof. This is great for the summertime. If you have really oily skin, this baby is not going to budge. So I highly recommend you get this. It is amazing. I get this question a lot. Kat Von D's products are cruelty-free. Yes, they are. And actually, just recently, Logical Harmony now officially has Kat Von D on her yes list, her like cruelty-free list. So they are approved by Logical Harmony. And even if they weren't, I would still be purchasing from Kat Von D because I believe her when she says her line is cruelty-free. So, <laughs> just had to mention that really quickly. All right, so I do have one eyeshadow brush that I have been loving, and I keep forgetting to mention this in my videos. And 
it's a must-have. So Flower Beauty is a cruelty-free line you can find at Walmart, and I love it. It's you know I've raved about a whole bunch of her products are just amazing. I think there's only like four brushes to choose from, but this one is the E01. So that's the number E01. And it has a really different design here. It almost has like a flat edge, like half of the brush is missing. It just says flower right there. I love the sort of rose gold uh, ferrule right there. And here's what the brush looks like. It is super dense, super soft. This is one of my favorite brushes for not only packing on color all over the eyelid, but also for buffing out color. This has been my go-to brush. This is the It Cosmetics. I can't remember the name, but this is one of their brushes. This is like 20 some dollars or $18, crazy amount. And this is so similar to this brush, you guys. So here's the one from It Cosmetics, and here's the one from Flower Beauty. The only difference is that the Flower Beauty one is actually thicker. If you're wanting to save some money, try this brush out you will not regret it these are amazing these are the new wet n wild color icon contouring palettes yay i finally found the other one i've i've been like telling you guys for forever i've been trying to hunt down the palette and i finally got it so this one right here is caramel toffee this is my favorite contour shade i'm wearing the contouring powder today and I love that both of these are pretty much matte. Go ahead and do a quick swatch. I definitely want to do like a rave video about these because they're just so amazing. So this is the Dolce de Leche palette. And that's what this one looks like. The contouring shade in here is a lot um, lighter. Again, super silky. Both of these are matte. So you've got this really nice sort of yellow banana powder and the contour shade there. If you're looking for affordable drugstore contouring powders, oh, these are great. All right, so moving on to some lip favorites, which I have been loving and I just smeared my lipstick. So these three are from ColourPop Cosmetics. I love ColourPop's lipsticks and lip liners you guys they are just such amazing quality these are like all five dollars each so the first one here that i cannot stop wearing if you missed my color pop haul um unboxing i'll link it up here if you want to check it out but this is the color tootsie i have the matching lip liner and then here's the lipstick it's what i'm wearing on my lips right now i can't stop wearing this lip liner this is the perfect taupe taupe sort of mauve color like oh my goodness I just can't stop wearing it sometimes I'll like outline my lips and then put like a baby doll pink over top and it just gives this really cool contrast to your lips if you guys are looking for a lipstick that's kind of similar to like cashmere from lime crime or ghoulish from LA splash cosmetics if you don't like those sort of long wearing liquid to matte lipsticks give this a shot it is amazing you will not regret it oh my god i'm gonna have to buy a backup of this because i love it that much that is the tootsie lipstick and lip liner so the other ColourPop lipstick that i've been wearing non-stop this is in the shade button and this is a beautiful this is another matte finish just like tootsie was a matte finish um this is such a beautiful like warm coral like Everything on me shows up super, super dark because I'm so pale. Um, so on someone else, this might just be a really soft, like, coral peachy color. But for me, this pulls some brown tone, so it's kind of a darker coral color. So there is Button right there. It's such a beautiful color for spring. I highly recommend these two shades, you guys. I mean, I love all of them. Like, I can't pick a favorite, but... Right now, currently, these two are my absolute favorite. So really quickly, I wanted to give a shout out to these two nail polishes that I've been loving and they're something new, somewhat new. This is from e.l.f. It's called Big Bang Blue. That's kind of hard to say. This is a really pretty glitter top coat. It has like this really crazy color to it. And this looks so different on so many different colors. I'm wearing it today on my nails. I don't know if you're able to see or not, but 
I'm wearing it right here like at the base of my nail and it looks like a blue shimmer it's really really cool and then I put it over top of this mint green and you see how it has like almost a duo chrome like foil I don't even know how to describe it but it's such a cool topper and this is a new polish I got again from my Petit Vore. I have so many Petit Vore favorites today this is a Lauren B Beauty nail polish and in the shade I'm so LA this is a gorgeous super hot pink color I'll insert a picture right here I love this color it is so beautiful it's really opaque I really like the formula and this is another thing that was in my pedivore box but um, I really like this brand of polish and the quality is great alright you guys so that was it that was my May Beauty Obsessions I really didn't have any disappointments that I can think of I probably do but maybe I'll leave that for next month's beauty obsessions thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today leave a comment down below and tell me what products have you been loving for the month of May I want to know let's chat below don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook all of my links are down below definitely follow me if you're not following me if you're new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button it's completely free and I post new videos on every Tuesday Friday and sometimes on Sunday I will see you all in my next video and remember smarter beauty is better beauty bye guys